Good day to our dear televiewers and subscribers. I am Teresa G. Reyes, Master Teacher 2 of Honorato C. Perez Senior Memorial Science High School and Cabanatuan City Senior High School, your teacher presenter in Grade 11 Earth Science here at Deped R. Teleturuan. In this lesson, we will focus on the types of rocks and learn to classify them into igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. First, let us recall what is a rock. To geologists of National Geographic, a rock is a natural substance composed of solid crystals of different minerals that have been fused together into a solid lump. The minerals may or may not have been formed at the same time, but what matters is the natural processes glued them all together. Can the name of a mineral be also used as a rock name? The answer is yes. A rock composed predominantly of the mineral gypsum is called a gypsum rock. Before we classify rocks, let us identify each type of rocks. There are three basic types of rocks, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Generally, rocks are classified on the basis of the mode of formation and that some of these physical and chemical properties are inherent on how the rocks are formed. When molten rock material cools and solidifies, it becomes an igneous rock. Molten rock material below Earth's surface is called magma, whereas molten rock material at the surface is known as lava. When molten rock solidifies at the surface, it is called extrusive igneous rock or volcanic. However, most magma loses its mobility before reaching the surface and crystallizes, and it is called intrusive igneous rock or plutonic. A rock like granite formed by magma that solidifies far underground makes up large parts of all the continents whereas the seafloor is formed of a dark lava called basalt, which is the most common volcanic rock. Basalt is also found in volcanic lava flows. Igneous rock's mineral composition is based on the chemical makeup of the parent magma. According to light and dark colored materials, granite and feldspar are light colored, diorite and andesite are medium colored, gabbro rock and basalt are dark colored. The second type of rock is sedimentary. Sedimentary rocks are formed from eroded fragments of other rocks or from the remains of plants or animals. Fossils are most frequently found in sedimentary rock, which comes in layers, called strata. In the rock cycle, sediments result from the uplifting and weathering, which are then transported and deposited in different areas. Sediments are transformed into solid sedimentary rock through processes either lithification, compaction, or cementation. Based on their sources, there are two types of sedimentary rocks, detrimental and chemical. Detrimental sedimentary rocks come from weathered rocks, which are classified based on particle size, conglomerate and breccia with coarse gravel, sandstone with medium sized and shale with very fine mat. Another chemical sedimentary rocks are produced largely by chemical weathering. The basis for grouping is their chemical composition such as rock salt composed of halite, gypsum rock composed of gypsum, bituminous rock composed of altered plant fragments. The third type of rock is metamorphic. Metamorphic rocks came from pre-existing rocks called parent rocks. The process of transformation of parent rocks is called metamorphism. And the most important agent of metamorphism is heat. Take care. Remember, the third type of rock is metamorphic rock. Again, how do metamorphic rocks differ from original rocks? Compared with the original rocks, the resulting metamorphic rocks are typically harder and more compact, have reoriented crystalline structure, and are more resistant to weathering. There are two major categories of metamorphic rocks, 
based on the presence or absence of black surfaces or wavy alignments of light and dark minerals that form during metamorphism. Metamorphic rocks may be described as foliated or non-foliated. For example, slate and gneiss are foliated whereas marble is non-foliated metamorphic rock. Amazingly, marble is metamorphosed limestone, quartzite is metamorphosed sandstone, and gneiss sometimes begin as granites, a volcanic rock. So if you will be asked to classify samples of rocks, you have to examine them and look for their characteristics. For example, if there is arrangement of mineral crystals and there is no fossils and foliation, that is an aqueous rock. On the other hand, a rock with visible sedimentary layer, not foliated and generally weak, may be broken by a hammer and contains fossils. What do you think is that rock? Yes, that is sedimentary rock. Finally, if a rock is foliated or not, has no mineral crystals and no layers and fossils, correct, that is metamorphic rock. Can you classify these rocks with examples which would be classified as igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic rocks? There you have it. Shale and sandstone in sample A are classified sedimentary. Andesite and basalt in sample B are igneous. And nice and quartzite in sample C are metamorphic rocks. You did a great job. I hope you have gained significant learning today. Well, you can start and organize your rock collection now. Again, this is Teresa G. Reyes, your earth science teacher here at Depet Teletuluan. Good day.